The Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church, along with Protestantism comprises the three historical branches of the Christian religion. The Catholic and Orthodox branches separated from each other, 1000 years ago. Today, these two traditions have many similarities, but they have important differences too. Here are the explanations of what hold them together and what disperse them. Similarities Aside from the cultural differences that appear from region to region, there are very little differences in the way Catholics and Eastern Orthodox churches practice their faiths. They both have the same belief system, and many of the same traditions. Their spiritual officers are categorized the same. Deacons, priests and bishops. They believe in the same three bodies of the Holy Trinity. The Father in Heaven, the Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The Virgin Mary is held in such high esteem in both faiths. Both faiths claim to be the continuity of the early Christian faith. Both faiths have a deep and rich history of theological and scholarly traditions, that have been passed down from one generation to the next. Elaborate ceremonies can be found in both faiths. Sacraments are a fundamental part of both faiths. They use the same Bible. The differences between the two churches the two biggest differences between the Catholic faith and the Eastern Orthodox faith boils down to two main disputes. The papal supremacy and the use of a centralized spiritual authority. The filioque controversy, in which the text of the Nicene Creed was altered during the 6th century, to include, and the Son. The Catholic Church believed that the Holy Spirit comes from both the Father and the Son in the Holy Trinity. The Orthodox Churches believe that the Holy Spirit only comes from the Father and not the Son. The Virgin Mary The Catholic Church believe in Immaculate Conception, as they believe that Mary was free from the stain of sin. Mary is given the title, Mother of God. For the Orthodox, as they do not believe in original sin, they reject the idea of Immaculate Conception. In other words, this removes the need for Mary to be sinless to begin with. Mary is venerated as Theotokos, which in Greek is, God-bearer. The Filioque Controversy The Catholic Church believe that the inclusion of the Filioque, and the Son to be a true representation of the Holy Spirit's nature. Orthodox rejects the Filioque outright as the original text does not include, and the Son. They believe that its inclusion fundamentally changes the nature of the relationships between the Holy Trinity. Marriage and Divorces For Roman Catholics, marriage is seen as an unbreakable contract with God and the Church. Remarriage after divorce is not permitted unless there is an annulment. Members of the clergy cannot be married. For Orthodox, marriage is a mystical union between a man and a woman. Divorce is generally granted in cases of adultery, though there can be other exceptions. Only bishops are not permitted to be married, unless widowed. The Pope's authority and infallibility. For Catholics, the Pope is the head of the Church and has authority over all churches. The Pope is infallible in all of his decisions no matter how popular or unpopular they may be. For Orthodox, the Pope is recognized as holding a position of honor, but no true authority. The Pope is considered to be no different from any other bishop. Church Leaders the Catholic Church has developed into an intensely centralized spiritual authority. The head of the Church is considered to be the Pope, and his decisions are expected to be upheld. The Eastern Orthodox Church tolerates a greater independence, with a number of self-governing churches that form a council much like the seven ecumenical councils, deciding on what is best for their members for themselves. 
There is still rank among church leaders, notably the ecumenical patriarch, but no one member has the same theological authority as the Pope. Purgatory For Catholics, they believe that there is an intermediate state that's between heaven and hell. A place where we can atone for any venial sins we may not have repented at the time of our death. For Orthodox, the existence of an intermediate state between heaven and hell is recognized. But the cleansing of one's sins can only be done during this life, and not the next. Calendars Catholics use the same new Roman Catholic calendar that the rest of the world use, introduced by Pope Gregory XIII, in 1582. Many Orthodox churches now use the same modern calendar as the rest of the world, making most of their feasts and seasons coincide with Catholics. Easter For Catholics, Easter Sunday is calculated to be the first Sunday following the ecclesiastical full moon date, known as the Paschal Full Moon Date, this occurs after the 20th of March. For Orthodox, Easter is still calculated using the old Julian calendar, introduced by Julius Caesar in 45 BC. This means that Catholic and Orthodox Easter could be celebrated up to five weeks apart. The Sacrifice and Resurrection of Jesus Christ Catholics believe that it was through the death of Jesus Christ by crucifixion that we gain our salvation. The Eastern Orthodox Churches believe that our salvation can be found in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Praying Most Catholics tend to kneel during prayers. Orthodox worshippers tend to stand during their prayers. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. God bless you.